As the old order lies dying, a new generation is trying to overturn the remaining taboos. They believe that sex, race, politics and art are all ripe for radical change. Jazz is a little avant-garde, a little dangerous, and thriving in Montreal. Saxophone player Myron Sutton moves from Ontario to the center of the action. The Toronto Club was the kind of place where anything could happen. But I saw that Puff Jaws, Dizzy Gillespie come in there. Duke Ellington came in and sat behind the bar. While most North American clubs are segregated, in Montreal, integration continues late into the evening. You have to give the French Canadian white woman all the credit in the world because she was the nicest woman to all the black musicians. If it wasn't for the French Canadian women, all the black musicians who came from anywhere and stayed would have starved to death. From speakeasies to seminaries, the Depression is an opportunity to challenge convention. Georges-Henri Lévesque is a Catholic scholar who pushes his Laval University students to look beyond the Bible for social and economic solutions. These young people, already full of worry, if not misery, are often full of talents, of energy, and of devotion. So they are often attracted to revolts. But what they want more than anything is to live fully, to be all that they should be. Young artists begin to reject traditional landscapes. The country is in crisis, and it is their job to paint it. If man's liberation is the chief aim of action, the function of the creator is as essential as that of the politician or the economist. Eighteen-year-old Marion Dale grew up in a proper Westmount home, but she throws all that aside to become an artist. She finds a soulmate in Frank Scott, a legal scholar and poet. While we were dancing, I said some foolish thing, and he looked down at me and smiled his smile. And I knew that I would like him. They believe romantic freedom is essential to creativity. Fidelity is fine for their parents. We believed in forward things. We thought we should allow each other to be free and we would be honest with each other and say if we found somebody else, we wouldn't want to continue. Frank Scott's poem captures the hope and foreboding of the times. How shall I hear old music? This is an hour of new beginnings, concepts warring for power, decay of systems. The tissue of art is torn with overtures of an era being born. 